Okay, now you're going to get into something that's pretty complex. Um, we've done this before, but I need it to tie into the lesson we're doing. It one leads to another. So we know how to write a linear equation with from two coordinate points. Okay, all you need is two because a line goes through two points. You usually write it in slope-intercept form. Y equals mx plus b, and you got to find your slope and your y-intercept. Well, the slope is found using y minus y, x minus x. So y minus y, you're going to have 11 minus negative 5, which is like adding positive 5. And then your x is negative 4 minus negative 2. So that's going to give you 16 divided by negative 2, and that's negative 8. Now find your y-intercept. y equals m times x plus b. So I know that my slope is negative 8. That's m. Then I pick either this one or this one. I'll go with this one. I'll put 11 for y times negative 4. So 11, you've got to multiply negative 8 by negative 4 is 32 plus b. Okay, operations plus. You've got to take the 32 to 0 by subtracting it. That's going to be negative 21 equals b. Okay, and that is my equation. That would make a straight line because you would do slope intercept. You'd go down. You'd have to have a huge graph. You'd go down 21. Then from there you go down eight, right one. Down eight, right one. You'd have a line. Okay, runs in a straight line. Now that's how you write a linear equation. Now this is how you write a quadratic equation. Quadratic equation means it's a parabola on a graph. Now, down here is where the answer is going to be because i got to do a whole lot of work to get there. A lot more than the lot, well, just a linear. Quadratic, a parabola is y equals ax squared, because usually that's a, whatever number is there, plus bx plus c. Your job is to find the a, the b, and the c values. Blank x squared plus blank x plus c from your, cor from your coordinates on the parabola. Well, it's kind of complicated, okay? First off, you're going to write that, that form, you're going to write that three times. Y equals AX squared plus BX plus C again and again. Now we're going to replace the x and y with these coordinates. So y is negative 2 here. I'll do the x's here in a second. The y is equal to negative 4 there, and it's again equal to negative 4 here. Remember, it's a parabola, so it could be the same y value with a different x value. Okay, now your x is 1. So what you do is mentally calculate 1 to the second. That's 1, and what's 1 times a? 1a. Now, mentally put the 1 in for the x, but b times 1 is 1b. Then plus c, put a 1 in front of the c. Now you repeat here. Now you put 2 in for x, take it to the second power in your head, which is 4. a times 4 is 4a. Take your 2, put it in for the x, b times 2 is 2b, and then plus c, 1c. And finally, 3 to the second is 9. A times 9 is 9A. Nine 3B times 3 is 3B. And then plus 1C. Now here's what you're going to do. You're going to put this one equation with this one right here. Put the letters first. Put 1A plus 1B plus 1C equals negative 2. And then 4A plus 2B plus 1C equals negative 4. Now put team these up. 4a plus 2b plus 1c equals negative 4. And then 9a plus 3b plus 1c equals negative 4. Okay, now here's what you're going to do. You're going to drop out a, b, or c. If you can find a letter with the same number in front of it, okay, you want to get rid of that. Okay, so I have 1 and 1. So I go negative, 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 and those will go away, and then the 4 is positive. So if I combine those, that's negative 3a. If I combine those, I get negative 1b. If I combine those, I get 2. 
Okay, now I've got 4A, 9A, 2B, 3B, 1C, 1C. So all I need to do is replace negative, 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 positive. Cross those out. You have negative 5A plus negative 1B and then 0. Okay, now you team these up. Okay, you're the results. And then you only have two variables now you have to deal with. Okay, and which we've done a lot of times with X and Y. Okay, this is no different. Okay, now with two variables, we take the 5, multiply it to the top. Just 5, don't worry about making it negative 5. And then 3 on the bottom. Why don't you? Because you're just eliminating. You're just making it more confusing. I mean, it works, but... Negative 3 times 5 is negative 15a, and then minus 5b, and then equals 10. Then we're going to have negative 15a minus 3b equals 0. Now that's good, but they need to be opposite. So positive, positive, and then just leave the 0 alone. Okay? These cancel, and you now have negative 2b, and that's 10, 10 plus 0. So divide by your negative 2, and b equals negative 5. So you can go ahead and put a negative 5 in the second blank. Now you're going to get your a. Go up to this one. Put negative 5 in for your b. And find the product of negative 1 and negative 5. It's 5, so you have negative 3a plus 5, because it's positive, equals 2. Then I subtract 5. Divide by negative 3, and A equals 1. Now, what about C? You go back to the very first equation. You're going to replace your A with the 1, because 1 times 1. You're going to replace your B with the negative 5. So you know 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times negative 5 is negative 5, so minus 5 plus 1C equals negative 2. Now, we can combine 1 minus 5. That's negative 4, okay? So 1C minus 4 equals negative 2. Then I just add 4. Negative 2 plus 4 is 2. 1C equals 2, which means that C would be equal to 2. And there's my quadratic equation. Okay, it's a little challenging. Okay, same idea. Again, a quadratic function. In standard form, you always go with standard form. Y equals blank x second plus blank x plus blank. You can write them in other forms too, but those are in different processes. Vertex form is actually the easiest to write. Okay, so same thing. Y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Y equals ax squared plus bx plus c y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So negative 6 replaces the y here. Negative 2 replaces the y here. 3 replaces the y here. Now you take your x and square it. 3 to the second power is 9. a times 9 is 9a. And then um, 3. 3 times b. b times 3 is expressed as 3b. Okay, and then plus 1c. Okay, negative, so you square your 1. 1 to the second's 1 times a, it's 1a. b times 1 is 1b, then plus c. Okay, 6. 6 to the second's 36. a times 36 is 36a. 6 in for x. b times 6 is going to be 6b. Plus C. I would put 1s in front of your C's. Now you pair these up. 9A plus 3B plus 1C equals negative 6. Then 1A plus 1B plus 1C equals negative 2. Now team those up. 1A plus 1B plus 1C equals negative 2. Then 36A plus 6B plus 1C equals 3. Okay, 9 and 1, not even close to the same. 3 and 1, no. 1 and 1, yeah, I just need to make them opposites. Negative, 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 positive. Okay, so it's going to be 8A. 
3 and negative 1 adds up to 2b, those cross out, and then equals negative 4. Okay, negative, because again, we're dry, if we drop out the c's here, we have to drop out the c's here. Otherwise, I end up with a train wreck. Cross those out. 1 and negative 36 is negative 35a. 1 plus negative 6 is mi minus 5b. Negative 2, negative 3 is negative 5. Okay. Okay, now pair these up. So you got 8a plus 2b equals negative 4. And then negative 35a minus 5b equals negative 5. So we multiply the top by 35, 5. Yeah, literally by 35. And then the bottom by 8. You have a calculator, so 8 times 35 is 280A. 35 times 2B is 70B. Negative 4, 35 times negative 4 is negative 140. Now the bottom, you're going to have negative 280A. Minus 40B equals negative 40. Now, these are already opposites, so get rid of them. 70 minus 40 is 30B. Negative 140 plus negative 40 is negative 180. Divide by 30. B equals negative 6. Okay, so you can put negative 6 in for B. Now we're going to get our A because I come here. Because I know that B is negative 6. So I can take the 2 times negative 6. So it's negative 12. So you got 8A minus 12 equals negative 4. So 8A equals 8 divided by 8. 8 divided by 8 is 1. So you put 1 there. Okay, now go up to your very first ABC equation that you wrote. Okay, you got your answer for A. You know it's 1. 9 times 1. Well, that's 9. Then I've got my B. B is negative 6. So I take positive 3 times negative 6. It would be negative 18 minus 18 plus 1C equals negative 6. So we're going to combine those to make negative 9. So 1C minus 9 equals negative 6. Then you add 9, and that's 3. Okay, so 3. Okay, now the last one, you throw in a little curveball, okay? Now remember I said, when you write these two, you want to find the one that's got the same letter, okay? And that rules changes, but if I have one better and they're already opposites, you want to get rid of that one, okay? It's not like... You're going to get thrown a little curveball here. Okay, so the same idea, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So here you put 1 equals, negative 3 equals, 1 equals. Okay, so this x, you square your 1 is 1, a times 1 is 1a, one b times 1 is 1b, one and then plus 1c. Okay, now negative 1. Negative 1 squared is still 1, a times 1 is a, is 1a, b times negative 1 is negative 1b, so that's minus 1b there, plus 1c. Okay, then negative 3 squared is 9. A times 9 is 9A. Negative, and then B times negative 3. Remember, negative 3 replaces the X, okay? So, minus 3B plus 1C. Okay, now pair these up. 1A plus 1B plus 1C equals 1. And then pair those up. 1A minus 1b plus 1c equals negative 3. Okay, now 1a minus 1b plus 1c equals negative 3. 
then 9a minus 3b plus 1c equals 1. Now I want you to look. You see the same number everywhere, but d get rid of the ones that are opposite. Since you already have the same number, you want to get rid of the opposites. You see, if you do that sign change and get rid of the c's, both your a's and c's are going to go away, and that's not a good thing. Okay. So these are already go away. The b's do. So I get 2a plus 2c equals negative 2. Now, if you got rid of the b's here, you need to get rid of them here. So you have a 3 there. So you're actually going to multiply the tops all by 3. And I have a 1 here, so I'll multiply the bottoms all by 1. Again, if I could drop out the b's here, I want to on here. Okay, so down here, you're fine. Just write one, 3 times 1a is 3a minus 3b plus 3c equals negative 9. Now here, you're still going to have 9a minus 3b plus 1c equals 1. Now look at those b's. They're both negative 3, so I go negative, positive, negative, negative. Okay, and then the b's go bye-bye. And I now have negative 6a plus 2c equals negative 10. Now put those together. You have 2a plus 2c equals negative 2. And then negative 6a plus 2c equals negative 10. Now I can do with what I'm more comfortable with. So 6, 6, 6, 2, 2, 2. 12a plus 12c equals negative 12. The bottom's negative 12a plus 4c equals negative 20. Now get rid of these right away. They go bye-bye, okay? 12 plus 4 is 16c. Negative 32 plus negative, negative 12 plus negative 20 is negative 32. So I divide by 16. And I have my c value first this time. So c is negative 2. Now you can get your A, because that's where the A is at, so we have our answer for C. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, so you got 2A minus 4 equals negative 2. Okay. I'm going to be adding, oops, sorry, My yeah, 2 times negative 2 is negative 12. Yep. Or no, that's negative. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Yeah, I'm right. Plus 4, plus 4. So 2a equals 2. Now I divide by 2, and a is equal to 1. Okay? Now what about the b? Well, again, go up to your very first equation that you wrote. You got your a answer. Okay? You know that's 1. So 1 times 1 is 1. Now I don't have my b, so I keep the plus 1b there. 1c, I have my answer for that. That's going to be negative 2. So 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. So minus 2 equals 1. Now I want to combine the like terms. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. So it's 1b minus 1 equals 1. I add 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Divided by 1 is 2. And there's your equation right there. Okay, so again, when you're here, you want to look at what would be the easiest, the less work to cross out on this. Don't go with just the first one. Open your eyes and kind of look at it, okay? I mean, if you don't, if, all, if the best you can do is 1C, 1C, flip the signs, great. But if you have something else where you wouldn't have to change the signs, do that.